I'll say this though, um, not too many Filipinas would be happy with a cheeseburger for their birthday. I put the... Is that, I pushed that right, right there, right? Now it's going, you're just messing up. Okay, okay. Go back here and keep going. You can delete it if you want the others. Brand new bicycle. I got a, you got a rim leak. It won't take any air. So, we're going to the shop today. So, we'll go get that fixed. Drop it off at the bike repair shop. And, uh, she don't know it yet, but today's Terry's birthday, and I'm going to take her out for some Japanese food for lunch. Happy birthday. Alright. Alright. Well, the repair guy told me it was a uh, blown tube, and after looking at it, it had a small hole in it, almost like it was a defective tube. But he's gonna fix it. He's gonna put a new uh, rim liner on it. He said the rim liner needs to be upgraded. And when it's all said and done, it's gonna be about $12. It's not a Philippines vulcanizer, but hey, it's uh, getting done. Time to go eat. Since the early 50s, the horse and cow has a reputation for being an off-the-hook bar for submariners, but everyone is welcome to pull up a chair and join the fun. The establishment offers food and beverages to all thirsty parties, including skimmers, jarheads, flyboys, ground pounders, and even puddle jumpers. Okay, and even civilians are welcome. Starting out as a nightclub manager in San Francisco, with his passion of entertaining his patrons, Jimmy Luby created his own bar named The Horse and Cow in 1953. The name Horse and Cow has a mythological pedigree. Neptune, the god of the sea, is often portrayed as accompanied by a small horse and a small cow, or a bull. In World Wars I and II, merchant sailors, terrified of being sunk by submarines, commonly tattooed a horse on one ankle and a cow on the other in hopes of ensuring safe passage. Dedicating this establishment to serve submarine sailors, he created an atmosphere that submarine sailors can call home. As the years went by, the wild antics of the crews of the silent service that visited the bar became notorious throughout the entire submarine force and the United States Navy. Luby continued to run the cow until 1997 when he retired to provide care for his wife, Jeanette. He maintained a close relationship with the submarine community and became known as the Godfather. The traditions and legacies he established are upheld and cherished. Every now and again, some traditions are still carried out. The Horse and Cow was expanded to Guam and opened its doors in 2007. 
Today, the Horse and Cow Pub and Grill has evolved into a family-friendly restaurant with so much memorabilia that it was felt it needed to be cataloged into the Horse and Cow Submarine Museum. To all who knew Jimmy the Godfather, it is all from the heart. There's the bull, but Terry won't get on. All right, I'm gonna attempt to film this on my cell phone, and I can't see what I'm doing, so. So we're here at the Horse and Cow, because it's one of the few bars open, uh, because it's considered a restaurant, a full service restaurant. Uh, all the other bars and taverns were shut down this week again by the governor because of a few positive COVID cases. And I guess just the bars that serve, uh, have a full restaurant are still open. So we're here to celebrate Terry's birthday. Happy birthday, honey. And the margarita Cheers. on the rocks. Cheers. And right, we got a burger coming. Birthday burger. CJ is our server tonight. I'll say this, though. On not too many Filipinas would be happy with a cheeseburger for their birthday okay we got cheese sticks too